Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Leo for the week starting the 5th of December. And this holiday season kicks off with you feeling great. There's a real bounce in the air as you're committing to happiness and joy on a new level. You're feeling supremely creative. You're able to express your creative desires. You're able to build on your creativity and your passion and va 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 voom for life and you're also able to really link in to other people. You have Venus, the planet of love, or we all have Venus, shifting signs this week, and it's changing the emphasis, and you're able to feel much more outgoing, connected, and affectionate towards those that you love. You might find yourself drawing towards you somebody that you are attracted to, but it looks like it could be a very healthy relationship. I'm not saying, you know, use your intuition, obviously. Don't just grab the first one that comes along, but there is the potential for love this week because you're feeling very secure in yourself. You're feeling lovable. You're feeling excited about life. There's a sense of optimism and possibility in the air. If there's a project that you want to commit to that involves your creativity, and remember, that's a broad term, creativity. It can mean anything that inspires your soul then this is the week that you can build on those foundations. Perhaps you've had a creative idea in the past and you thought, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that one day, or you started it and put it to one side. This week you can really commit to it and it has legs. Now, thanks to Sun sextile Jupiter, you have the great potential to meet someone this week who is a fantastic communicator who can help put your ideas forward. It's someone to really champion your cause. It could be you meeting, uh, it could be anyone, an agent, a professor, a teacher, a mentor in some way, or somebody that kind of inadvertently PRs you, someone that wants to share your message with the world or hook you up with the right people. And that really feeds your soul because that's normally something you do. If you know someone and you think that you've got another contact that can help them, you're very happy to put people forward. And this week, your karma's coming back to you in a positive way. Thank you so much for watching this. Lots of people email me and say, do I do astrology or psychic readings? And I don't have time at the moment, but I do have a fabulous team of award-winning psychics who are brilliant. And I hand pick them myself. They are a, really are a cut above. Anyway, here is a little video all about them. I like to class a reading as an oasis for the soul. I like to think that it's a very individual a feeling. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves. Time out where we can really spoil ourselves. But they're still quite shocked when you give them very accurate information. When I get validations, it's amazing. I feel integrity is a huge part of it for me because without that, I wouldn't be doing this work. It's about guidance. It's about hope. Helping people have clarity, I think. I love that light bulb moment. When I finish work, I come off the phone and it's like, yeah, I've made a little bit of a difference. It's heartfelt to hear when I read for a client. I love making a difference to people's lives.